So for anybody who's been fortunate enough yet to experience physics, as a seasoned veteran, I'll give you a good idea of what to expect when you enter the program and why your physics friends complain about it like they have 5 seconds left to live. Now, the first problem is North American education. Reason being, they like to clump all the difficult information for when the human brain is more developed, and clump an impossible amount of content in the two years that matter the most in a student's high school experience. Now, if we look at Asia, for example, they separate the sciences early to slowly introduce the concepts of physics as early as middle school, where marks are less crucial and slowly built off of their foundations. Now, if you live in Canada in grades 9 and 10, you probably learned about electricity and mirrors. Now, if you put this in perspective, not only did you just spend a quarter of your school year learning the easiest one-fifth of a unit out of six units, which is roughly 3% of one year physics, but you don't even remotely get an understanding of what's to come. It also doesn't help that physics concepts are not intuitive to understand. Although kinematics and thermal physics may be more tangible, concepts like wave phenomena, relativity, and electricity have almost no basis for understanding within our daily lives. Additionally, the content that is being absorbed almost has no connection to the content that is being tested. A very common misconception is, I'll just be able to use the formulas they give me and just plug numbers into them and get the desired answer. However, the problem is that physics is the application of concepts, and so that's what they're testing for. Unlike math, where if they ask you to use the quadratic formula, it's pretty much common sense to know to use the quadratic formula. When given a question in physics, you have to entirely understand what exactly is happening and which route you need to take to answer the problem. Now take this question for instance. There are multiple different processes that are happening at once. This will require the application of numerous formulas and ideas as well as an actual understanding of what's going on and not just plugging numbers in. So I hear you asking, well if this program is so hard, how is it that people still succeed? There are two ways to go about it. The first method is to have a very large brain. So your brain needs to be massive enough such that you could skip all of your classes, show up to your test and derive all the formulas on the spot in under 5 minutes. The second method for the rest of us peasants is to do every single type of practice question imaginable that they could possibly throw at you. And I can't stress the every single part enough. This would give you more tools and more solutions to the questions on the test, actually giving you a process and a place to start and finish the problem. So in this channel, we plan to make videos regarding certain physics topics where we categorize and explain every single type of question you might get on a test or exam. So for those who have already taken physics, leave a comment below detailing which subject you thought was the most difficult, and for those that are looking ahead, leave a comment below thinking which you think will be the most difficult, and we'll start making a video for it as soon as possible. Now I want to take a moment and talk about special programs like IB or the International Baccalaureate. These problems have the same issues as regular physics, only it's worse since you have more content to crunch through in the same amount of time. To make matters worse, lots of schools like to prepare you for the final exam by creating tests in similar formats, also known as failing you earlier. So although your marks are in shambles and you don't get into the university you want to, at least your school's reputation is intact when you crush your final exam that virtually benefits you in almost no way. So why is this worse? Well one reason is that the questions are even more detached from the course content and more difficult. And also, when you get your test and you look down, you're going to see something like this. And then you're going to remember that it needs to be completed within 60 minutes. You'll need to do a lot more practice questions with the more difficult questions under a smaller time limit, meaning you'll need a stronger grasp of what's actually happening as well. So remember, play to your strengths. Unless HL physics is the only option available at your school, as in my case, try to avoid it unless you're feeling confident. If I can leave you with one final tip, if you don't know how to answer a multiple choice question and you have absolutely no idea what it could possibly be, remember, when in doubt, just guess C. Best of luck.